This week on Red Arrow, we're heading to a magical part of the country where there's one gator for every two people. Fake wrestling is prohibited, and it was named after Louis XIV. Didn't you the guy on Jungle Book, the monkey? No? All right, well, me and Josh are heading out. Just pulled out of the driveway. We're running a little bit behind. It's about lunchtime right now in uh, Fort Union, Virginia. This state's not typically known for big buck hunting, but when you got as much land as the buspices do, you can grow as big a deer as you want. I'm talking about a little place called Allah. Allah Akbar. Pump your brakes there, Captain Jihad. Not that kind of Allah. I'm talking about an Allah that actually exists. Allah, Louisiana. We're looking forward to shooting something. Hopefully we go, go ahead and shoot about two bucks on the first, first two evenings, and then we'll just get out of there and head to Texas. You know, we've been coming to Allah for the last couple of years. It's an unbelievable place. It's kind of like Redneck Disneyland, like I've always said. It's a piece of property that is so massive Deer out here dying of old age, you just have no idea what is on this place. It's definitely a privilege to hunt it, and we've had pretty good success. Yeah. All right, you good. Despite the fact that the buspices have gar hold me or call buck hold me, if you will, at every turn they got, I can't really prove it, but I guess the proof's in the pudding. Well, Matt, I know how you love killing six pointers, buddy, but I had to rob this one from you because he's just too cold to pass up. But uh, this year, I'm really looking forward to. Who am I kidding? I just want to go down there and shoot stuff. <laughs> well, I'm mean as gravel, I'm old as dirt. And I like things better the way they work. Well, I'm strong in the head, but I get things done. I spend too much money to have a little fun. Come on. For me, driving down to Allah, Louisiana is about a 22 hour trip. So we pulled an all nighter. We drove all the way down to Allah. We got there about the time we needed to get in the ground blind that morning. It's four o'clock in the morning, so we'll probably be getting here just in time to have everybody be getting up to go hunt. I don't know if we're going to hunt or sleep or hunt and sleep, but we'll see when we get there. So I broke the old Hoyt out, we snuck into a ground blind, we hadn't even seen Matt or Ryan or anybody yet, and we're hunting on no sleep. Well, we're in the blind, we drove all through the night and we got here around 5.30 and uh, I just grabbed my bow out of the back seat where I had it. All our stuff is buried, I'm still wearing the clothes I drove down here in, just threw on a pair of long pants, I got tennis shoes on. and. We uh, we said hey to our buddy Marv real quick. Woke him up. Marv was showing me pictures of an absolute tank of an eight pointer. I've never seen a bigger chest on a deer except maybe the one I killed here last year. So we're here. We're in Ala. It's day one. We've been here all of an hour or less. So a couple little bucks come out, and then a doe slides out, and I'm thinking, hmm, I don't really know which bucks I'm supposed to shoot in this area, but I do know I can kill a doe. By the time that we decide we're going to kill this doe, she decides to bust us. I don't know if she saw something in the blind or smelled our 22-hour truck ride funk that we, no scent control that we did that morning uh, or what, but either way, it didn't work out. I went from relaxed mode to killing mode, and now I have relaxed mode remorse. 
So we drag in from the stand that morning after a long road trip, and who do we find out's in camp but our good buddies Nate and Randy from Headhunter TV. I've heard Matt's got some kind of crazy competition plan for us. Hosey and Birdsong are here, and they told me Matt's got some kind of send us off in the wilderness or something and give us a pistol with one bullet and a knife and, a, and one match or something like that. I don't know what kind of competition he's got in mind. We'll see, I guess. I come back from that morning hunt and see all the guys, and I start sighting in my Barnett crossbow for the evening hunt. And I hear some talk over here about some kind of competition. It's a competition, Miss Wild Game Rules. What are you talking about, Miss Wild Game what? I don't know, I'm not really paying attention. I just heard we're in a competition with the headhunter guys and Ryan and Matt. You know, they say like, hey, the at the end of the bar and just sips on his Yo, drink bro. and doesn't say too much. Where the freak you at? Just so you know. <laughs> and I just assumed that it was a body count competition. Shoot as many animals as possible. Each animal equals one point. Nobody's really seen any deer, except for our buddy John. He's sitting in a stand where he has shot a hog and a really good buck has come in. <clears throat> you know, he saw this buck, he ends up passing on him. He said, there's a bunch of hogs in the area. They're, they got the deer all spooked in there and they asked me, where did I want to sit? And I was like, the spot with all the hogs and the big buck. <laughs> We're down here in Isle of Louisiana. Got a swamp behind us. There's a lot of hogs in here. They've been seeing a real good shooter 10-pointer and then a real good young 10-pointer. So <laughs> they put me in the wrong stand again. They, you guys set me up for failure. It's not my fault. Now we'll, we'll shoot the big mature 10. Maybe. This is my tactic cam. What I've been doing is taking this mount setting it in the tree behind me to get like over the shoulder shots with this uh, easy hanger right here. So I can like put it anywhere I want, aim it anywhere I want. And then when I'm shooting a gun or a crossbow, tactic is perfect for that because you're holding that still. So tonight what I'm gonna try to do with my tactic cam is get an over the shoulder shot, like right down my arrow shaft. When the deer or hogs or whatever come into here. So I'll be pretty cool. When anybody says competition, I mean, all bets are off. Forget trophy hunting. We're just killing everything that comes out. So as soon as I can get an opportunity, I'm shooting this dove. I think I should get extra points. I got an over-the-shoulder tactic cam shot of this doe right down my arrow shaft. Now she's starting to bleed real good. There's some right there. She gotta be. I heard her crash like right back in here, either over here. Look, right there she is. <laughs> but I always like putting a little doe meat in the freezer. Y'all know that about me. Especially when we go, me and Josh sat two days in the heat fighting mosquitoes and didn't see a deer, which is very unusual for Ola, but there's a full moon on. It's like 90 degrees, or at least it feels like 90 degrees out here. But at least we got a little meat for the freezer. Now we got to kill one of one of these big old deer that've been running around here. So we'll see. But let's get her out of here. So I've drawn first blood in this competition, and I come in to find that Nate Hosey has also run an arrow up in one. The sun has finally gone down. It's been a hot afternoon down in Louisiana. And I feel good about this evening. We've been hunting hard this week. It's finally starting to cool off a little bit. And good Lord willing, if he's in here, he rolls through again. Because tonight, we're ready. Oh, dear Lord. There's deer coming to our right back here, Steven. 
this camper. First one's definitely a buck. Young buck. There's three bucks, third one's are boy. Share that hunt done, Scuba. Thank you so much for the bus, Mrs. I could not be more thankful to be sitting behind this deer right now. We shot this buck last night, and to be honest with you, when I first shot him, I thought I made a little bit better shot than I did. After reviewing the footage, I didn't realize his leg was back, and I knew after watching it that the shot was back. We decided to wait overnight, and I'm glad we did because he didn't go 200 yards. And not only does the good Lord guide us in life, but on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning here in the swamp, he guided us to this big old Louisiana buck. You know, I don't care where you go. I mean, conditions, weather conditions are everything. So it doesn't matter if you're in the best place in the world, kind of like a la Louisiana is like Disneyland for killing big white-tailed deer. If the weather conditions are such that it's not right, it's going to be a hard hunt no matter what you do. So Ryan and Matt get to hunt there year round and they get to see the best of the best and they have definitely had some good luck this year. This buck Ryan has been hunting, Crown Roll, is as sweet as the drink he was named after. He's bigger than I fuck. This is a huge buck. I mean, this is an eight point, but I mean, we're talking upper 40s, probably 150 inch eight pointer. In fact, as soon as he kills him, they put the trophy tape on him to find out exactly how big this deer is. This is a Reek that steps out on Matt. This is a hammer of a deer. This deer went from quarter and two to broadside to quarter and away really fast. But Matt still made a good shot. Got up in there and got all the good stuff. He's a, he's a stud. We've been after that deer a long time. Well, here we go again, Matt Buspus. What's that, your like 159th Pope and Young deer? And the sad thing is, we're hunting the exact same area as Matt hunts when he when we come there, but it's just, uh, it's 90 degrees at this point in the season, and it's not looking good for the home team. <laughs> On this hunt, we wanted to make sure we did our scent control, so we put all our stuff in the scent crusher bin. We sprayed down real good with cloak and dagger, hoping that nothing was gonna bust us like when we got right out of the truck for that first time. They put me in a stand that they said, you know, there's been a couple big bucks in this area. There's a lot of deer around. So I broke out the secret weapon, and I dumped some end game all up and down this road in hopes that it would draw some deer to my area. Little did I know, how powerful in-game actually was. Oh, she's coming. I don't 
So I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to hold out for a big buck. We're in Allah. This is what you do. You go down to Allah to kill big bucks. But I think it was like deer number 11 that I started to get frustrated. I mean, 11 does. It's time to start killing something. So I finally got frustrated and I just let one of these does have it. As far as I was concerned, this, this competition is about body count. I found out that end game is a lot like chicken and a biscuit. They just can't resist it. This year, I gotta be honest, I had five or six different brands of broadheads in the quiver. I was testing everything against this new broadhead that I was really excited about called the Afflictor. Everything that I put the Afflictor up against, the Afflictor just demolished it. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable what this broadhead can do. We got some red arrows to collect here, boys. It's gonna be like a red arrow Easter egg hunt. There she is, right there. She, she, she can go 50 yards, maybe. Cool. So I'm thinking in this competition, me not paying attention to the rules because I was off shooting while the rules were laid down, I'm thinking I'm way ahead in this competition. I've got four does down. I'm on easy street. Nate Hosey has killed a whatever kind of little buck he shot. And I'm crushing this competition as far as I'm concerned. Body count. We've got it in the bag, baby. Pretty good morning. Sort of reminded me of a dove shoot I once had. Then old bird song just comes and knocks one out to park on the last evening. Somehow, some way, we have found our way to one of Matt's little honey holes that he usually keeps to himself. But he's got us all in a competition against each other. So on the last night, the gloves come off. They always told me if you ain't cheating a little, you're cheating yourself. We just shot a, we shot a good eight pointer, baby. I mean, a good eight pointer. Yeah. You know, we had a great time this year down at Ala like we always do with Ryan and Matt and Randy and Nate and Lucas and all the guys down there in camp. We appreciate you guys having us down. We look forward to coming back to Louisiana to slaughter whatever you put in front of us next year. We love and support all you guys out there that watch Red Arrow and make this possible. We are glad that you celebrate shooting things, turning arrows red just like we do, and, uh, and you're unapologetic about it. Go on to our online store, check out some of our new apparel. We got a ton of stuff on there. And we'll see you right back here next week on Red Arrow TV.